So, how did I change the movement of the truck from this to this? I had no idea what I was in for. In my last video, I fixed box colliders to the trailer and scripted some basic movement for the truck, which looked kinda weird. I had some capsule colliders for the wheels, but it just wasn't working. I decided to look at other colliders available, and lo and behold, there was an option for wheel colliders. Firstly, I realized that I was applying one wheel collider to four different wheels which obviously doesn't make much sense. You can only have one wheel collider assigned to one object. So I tried splitting up the four wheels, but realized they constituted one object. So I went back into Blender. I didn't know how to do this either and eventually just made the wheels again. I also added the word milk onto each wheel so I could see if the wheels were spinning. I then imported the new individual wheels into Unity and deleted the old wheels. I know it's not a priority, but I just had to color them in at that time. When I started adding wheel colliders, strangely I couldn't see the shape and position of the collider. This turned out to be because I hadn't added a rigid body component. So I fixed this and set the wheel colliders to the center of the wheel. This fixed position of the wheel colliders became a problem but more on that later. I tested how the wheels reacted to the ground by just lifting up the truck and dropping it. I have to say, this was pretty satisfying. I pulled an arcade game style movement script online for wheel colliders. Basically, I used a tutorial from B3AGS? B-SAGS? And now I had some initial concerns about just copying code and not feeling like it was my own creation, you know, something that I knew how to do on my own but I decided to push ahead anyway. The general idea is that under fixed update, if up or down is pressed, a value is changed, and that translates to a motor torque force applied to the front wheels. Similarly, once the spacebar is pressed, there is a braking force applied to all four wheels. The result is that the truck moved like a vehicle, and I have to say, this was a pretty cool moment for me. I mean, if you told me that this sort of thing was possible 20 years ago, I probably would have decided to become a game designer. Now at this point, the wheel objects were useless and didn't move. The invisible wheel colliders were doing all the work instead, so I had to script a method which constantly updated the positions and rotations of the wheel objects to the wheel colliders. And at the end of the day, I didn't feel too bad about using somebody else's script. I think it was much more important to understand how the individual elements come together and how I'd be able to use those elements in the future. Okay, so the result of connecting the wheel objects to the wheel colliders was this. I knew it had something to do with the imported rotation values of the wheel objects from Blender, but I wanted to see if I could fix it via the script by setting an offset quaternion rotation value, and I failed. So I went back into Blender to reset the object's point of origin and rotation values, but this took a lot of trial and error switching between object mode and edit mode. I'll spare you the gory details, but I ended up having to re-import the wheels many times until I got them right. But then I got it pretty much right, and for the first time, I saw the front wheels turn left and right, and I saw them spin around. It was beautiful. I then decided I wanted the car to slow down when no movement inputs were applied. I basically deleted the redundant brake force code and recycled it into an if-else statement to reflect this artificial drag on the vehicle. And it worked, obviously, because I'm a genius. That wasn't it though, I hit my next major problem. The car kept flipping over too easily. This would take another few hours to rectify. I tried creating an artificial ballast, which just made the car move really strangely, so I scrapped that. Instead, I ended up changing the point of origin again and setting the wheel colliders to the outside of the wheels to give the vehicle a larger base. Even to this day, the vehicle is still unstable and quite wobbly. But you know what they say, it's not a bug, it's a feature. In the next video, I'll show you how I start playing around with adding milk bottles to the trailer and, for the first time, getting a feel for the gameplay mechanics and making the milk bottle. That's enough for now. See you next time.